if I wanted to ride up a little bit, I'd walk. And I try to leave a little bit up to her, so I'm riding her more with my body and not my hands so much. Yet if she didn't stay between my body, my hands or legs would come in. So my legs are for driving, they're the gas pedal. So if I have an active leg, that means for energy. When I was younger, I made the mistake and I, every time I'd want to steer my horse between my legs and I'd kind of ride off to the left here rather than opening the door, I'd kind of cram with my right leg and maybe kick the hindquarters over a little. And pretty soon my horse has got real swish tail because sometimes an active leg meant go and sometimes an active leg meant just a turn. So I'm really just opening a door here. If I wanted to ride to the left, I'd open this left shoulder. I'd open up this hind quarter to step off to my right. Gradually as I shorten, I think of directing a foot when it's in the air. So if I wanted to shorten this left front foot, when it came off the ground, now, 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 is when I move it. Because if all the weight's on it, how can I move it? The only way she could move it would be to hop up in the air. And I want it slow. You can come back out. So, and there's times the benefit of having her be a cow now is I can talk to her. And I can tell her to put a little more pressure on. I try not to tell her to put too much pressure on because I don't. I'm just kind of moving back a little more. I don't want her hot tongue hanging out here yet, so I'm not going to have her do too much. But now you can go when you want. Now there's times. Look. I'll get my block. Now there's times she's a little close. So if I wanted her a little further away, I might pick up and ride towards my cow. Now she's not taking over just blocking. Because like Pat did with some of the roping and the bridle horse stuff, my horse has to do both. If you get to doing too much cutting, pretty soon when things get fast, your horse is just wanting to come back and block that action. So you've got to have the balance in the job too between blocking a cow and driving a cow. Some horses need a little bit more experience tracking a cow and pushing on one. Maybe they get a little lazy there, so they need to be able to go a little more. Other horses might have a little too much energy. So they need to be able to slow down from time and just walk and not try to chase a cow. But as dumb as a cow is, it will try to sucker your horse to kind of fall out there. Kind of like if you've ever watched a basketball game, Michael Jordan would try to draw you out so he could just go around and get in a herd. So when she started to get a little close, before it put too much pressure on my horse, I'd move her out and get a little distance. And I'd let my horse maybe lull to sleep when she stopped, and whenever she wants to go, she can go, and we'll just see what my horse does. She may fall asleep. Not sure. So I'll hurry her up. Now right there, her rib cage is pushing on this cow a little. So I take her off a little. I want her shaped like a scoop, so that when she comes across, she sweeps across and catches that cow on the other eye. So now she's got it blocked there. Now she's got it blocked there, and I might drive it a little. But when that cow is trying to get back to a herd, there's a point where it will quit trying you. And that's when you 